you like anime? Do you like Japanese inspired things? Do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese inspired styled clothing made in house. And you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15%. Off your entire order at imori.com. What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Ooch. I'm here with the homie Kai, and we are back again. Sort of. Once again. How y'all doing today? Yeah, sort of is actually right. So, yes, sir. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. For those that have missed us, uh, I apologize in advance right now that, uh, yes. We've been missing you guys, too. We've been missing recording these episodes, these podcasts, man, full power. But it seems like the world has been completely out of control. It's not just this podcast, so I don't know if we had anything to do with that. Big facts. <laughs> but yeah, so we're here, and uh, I, uh, I've said this in my videos, in my streams prior to this, if you guys have been keeping up with me personally... Um, and you know, for those that have actually asked, like where the full power podcast is, I appreciate you guys for asking. Much love. Um, yeah, a lot, lots of love because I've t I've said it straight, just like this, where I I was not about to go back and attempt to do a podcast where my full intention and direction behind it was to do it with Kai. So I wasn't gonna. <laughs> So do episodes with me just talking to myself things have been I really mean, yeah. crazy yeah yeah like with me i you know people probably would you know are, are also wondering like well i could have like had guests and all that i definitely could have especially since you know brother ooch has also been home with me um but again like i just you know i i, I didn't feel like it was gonna be you know, right or worth it at the time and I figured, well, since everything is in shambles as far as the world is concerned, then, I mean, people can wait. I can wait. There's no, there's no rush, really. I mean, there's other, there's other podcasts that I personally follow that are, they haven't, they haven't uploaded a new episode in months, it seems. Like, almost like, more, more than, more than us, for sure. Um, but yeah, so we're here now, and before we actually talk anything uh, you know, Dragon Ball related and, you know, get our, get both of our, our thoughts out there for the latest chapter and whatnot and anything else that's been going on Dragon Ball related. Kai, let us, let, let the people know what, what's been going on with you. Huh. Uh, that's, that's definitely a lot. Um, actually though, I've been, I've been trying to keep up with fighters lately, like in, you know, said spare time, thanks to everything going on in the world. But things have been crazy. Mm -hmm. I've been moving around a lot, so that's why I haven't been able to uh, be around as much. Obviously not in person, because, you know, haha. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, there's none of that much, nowadays. That's pretty much about that. But, um, dude, the, the latest chapter was everything we all expected it to be. I don't, I don't think there were, like, anything, like, any surprises or anything. You know what I mean? It was very... Yeah. It's very mellow. I saw your, I saw your tweet about uh, Boruto's chapter popping off. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, hundred percent. I gave that when that week came out a few weeks ago for uh, um, the t the two chapters because both Boruto and Dragon Ball Super come out on the same day, which is like the twentieth of every month. Mm. I awarded Boruto the the winner of that month <laughs> because it, like. Cause like you said like super's chapter was very like um straightforward it was expected for the things that happened because we were yes. wondering those things um but yeah but before we get into that um i do just want to update the people like so ever since the like so the last episode we did was episode 14 and and uh shortly after that because I, I don't i don't even remember the exact date I don't have that in front of me right now unfortunately actually i could probably just look real quick 
Um, let me just browsing my own stuff real fast. Okay, here we go. So, oh no, this is. Is that? Oh yeah, there it is. So yeah, so March thirteenth. Holy crap, that was. With two May, months ago. It, it, yeah, dude, it's May right now, and the whole two months ago. Um, shortly after that, um, I was you know working like normal, and then I I got a like I got a call. Uh, from my supervisor letting me know like hey like um so you know obviously because of everything that's going on in the world we uh we we actually can't have you come in right now so like you and a bunch of other people are, are just gonna be temporarily laid off until you know this whole thing like subsides and whatever which i was just like holy shit we're, we've we've finally been hit because my my work force or workplace however you want to call it is considered a central business or essential service or whatever so without me like saying verbatim like what it is that i do i my my job is in that category in that field but because our you know our services basically rely on other businesses and companies to you know be open or to even allow you know any kind of whatever to take place if if then that means you know there's obviously no money coming in or you know however and you know obviously they can't pay me and then any of the other people that they have to template it off so um so yeah i've been out of a job for like pretty much about two months at this point and it doesn't even feel like it's been two months but it just goes to show you like the amount of time that has gone by that it, it doesn't even feel like it's been two months like it's kind of crazy like the concept of time nowadays is wacky like my days go by so fast now because for the majority they just consist of like me editing producing videos streams and like watching anime and reading manga just trying to catch up with stuff comics as well and it's been like a like when final fantasy 7 remake came out that was a like that was a, an eye-opening experience. It wasn't even just the fact that I was able to play it for the amount of time for the durations that I did at a time, but the fact that I literally sat there and literally beat the game with my final stretch, turning it into a 27-hour stream. <laughs> First of all, it was uncalled for. That was crazy. I dude, I literally did not expect it. I didn't even plan for that. It just happened. And, and like you I got said, rewarded for it. I did. It, it was weird because it was just it was like so cool. one of those things that I uh, like I, I did not expect. Like and by the way, I, I got like a gift I got gift subs like twenty one subs that 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 like duration of the stream. And, you know, I didn't even do it for that. I did it because I told my stream the, the, the day prior, like, the next time I sit down and stream this, I'm beating it. And I miscalculated the shit out of that. And I ended up, <laughs> like, totally destroying myself just to do it. And, yeah, it, I took it way too far. But it was, it was an eye-opener. And it was just like, holy shit, like, this game was that good that it, it made me... It made me stop caring about like myself and my well-being and just my for the well sake of <laughs> yeah dude because like it's it was crazy but you know like again it was it was a life lesson it was an eye-opener and I, I am never doing that again but you know, and all this is taking place during this quarantine and it's 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 crazy so so yeah I you know I've just been you know I've been trying to be as productive as possible um, I actually did start exercising again, um, from home, obviously, because I normally go to a gym, but you know, I can't. So thankfully we have a treadmill in the basement. I started using that. Uh, I actually used it today. The other day I just, I literally just ran up and down my street and you've been on my street before. Yep. You know how steep it is, yep. dude. I don't ever want to do that again. I literally couldn't feel my legs after i came back up on the incline and i was like so out of breath but yeah like these are just the things that i've been you know trying to like 
I don't know, just just help get through the days and whatnot. And I guess like, even though as 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 shitty as all this is, like you know, all we can do really is just try to, you know, be as productive as possible. Whether it's you know whether you're a content creator or whether you're just an avid gamer or you know avid anime otaku whatever like you know there's there are plenty of things that we all can be doing right now and all of our i will say that all of our levels of productivity is different like for me it's obviously doing stuff like this you know videos streams and whatnot um and then like uh like what do you call it and then like you know just obviously like trying to catch up with anime and whatnot to some others that it literally just might be that it might be like well i guess it's finally time to watch one piece or you know for me, or w- for me that's bleach and that see there you go like i've been i've been slowly approaching or attacking i should say the the backlog on stuff that i need to watch and i just recently finally completed uh stardust crusaders which is part three of jojo's which i already made a video about that so i don't even want to talk about it on this if you guys want to hear my complete thoughts please go ahead check out the video that i made um and see for yourself um other animes that i've been watching um just have i find i caught up to the black clover anime i oh, caught up word. with Bla- yeah i caught up with boruto um I'm pretty. I, I caught up to the manga for Boruto. Obviously, super. Obviously, Attack on Titan. Those are easy to keep up with since those are monthlies. Um, um, but yo, even even the the month the the um the weekly serialization that has also either some series have gotten the the boot for now or they've moved the schedule. They've made the weekly schedule into a bi-weekly schedule. So even like our manga is getting affected anime is getting affected digimon was looking to be like the next big thing on my channel and then it stopped at episode <laughs> three so it, it's crazy and even re-zero got pushed back and there's a bunch of other things that people you are kind of worried about imagine how much farther this can push super back yeah that's so true right it's it's kind of scary to wonder i always I, like i think to myself like imagine if like imagine if like this was the year that it was slated to return and we and won't ever know yeah and now it's not oh absolutely that's that's easy clap i don't think i'd be surprised if we got super in 2020 after all this no way mm. The only thing that is 100% still confirmed as of this recording is Attack on Titan. Ooh, when is that? Attack on Titan was always slated to debut at the end of this year anyway. Like, it was supposed to be the finale of 2020. Yeah. Which is, which funny enough, is the finale of of the series. Which also, I will add is kind of weird and concerning because i would have expected the manga to be finished by now but it's not like they've warned us i would feel like uh, at least a few years ago they warned us that like isayama isayama sorry literally said like yeah I'm, i'm like this is ending like very soon and we're like oh okay like we're ready and all this crazy stuff is happening not gonna spoil it so don't worry but I feel like he's taking his time to kind of, I guess, tie up any loose ends, possibly. But, but yeah, like, I'm like, I'm like, I, I, it's gonna be weird if like the last chapter is on the same day that the first episode of the finale airs. That'd actually be kind of crazy. That'd be special. Yeah. But what what things have you been doing uh, since we've all been quarantined? Um everything fit to speak of on a podcast we're we're talking about talking about keeping up with like mad anime because you already know i'm a gamer so like i'm playing my games or whatever which i i haven't even been doing because like i kind of dropped that shit and then we got put in quarantine you know everybody's jobless and now we're like low-key put on lockdown and it's just like well Mm -hmm. what else am i gonna do so (laughs) so i might as well but yeah i've been watching i've been watching mad stuff actually i watched 
I rewatched Noragami. I've been watching Assassination Classroom. I'm almost done with it. And I really enjoyed that one. I know ReZero and Erased are both on my list. Yeah, so Re so you so you still haven't seen ReZero Part no. One is what you're saying? Okay. I gotta see like all of it. Yeah, you definitely do. I will vouch. I will definitely be the, a voucher for that because I enjoyed ReZero Part One a lot. I watched it when it came out back in the day, like when it was brand new. I'm still back in the day is like a few years ago. Bro. I'm still procrastinating on my hero manga. Listen, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't think you should be procrastinating that John too much because, like, on some real stuff, dude. This might be a Dragon Ball podcast, but let me tell you something. My Hero Academia is insane. Like, it is the best. I think, I think my hero. It's probably the best manga right now. Like, as far as everything that's go been going on, and, like, Horikoshi just knows. He just knows how to write a well-paced series. Like, it, it, it's it's amazing, to be honest. And you know what? Like, and I have to say, like, I definitely have to give it to him because if, even, if, even if we were to try to bring in Dragon Ball, right? Like, the super manga itself has had issues it's had it's had its problems like it's had it's like oh well people don't like how they've done certain things versus like you know the the stuff that's good and whatnot um but yeah like it, it it's it's like it's, it's, one, it's one of those things where you look at my hero and you're just like well i mean it's like kind of hard to pick this apart because there's really nothing to pick apart now super had its issues but like like now like after after tournament of power moral the more this moral arc has literally been the best thing to that manga to this day in my opinion yeah i feel that way too i mean so. i don't know the goku black manga arc was tough as hell well yeah no that like it was tough for sure but even even like even with that like like that arc and how they handle Termin of Power, it's like it's like mixed reactions for both. Uh Yeah, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Alright, so So you say so you mentioned video games and you did mention fighters. Now I will say this uh, before we talk about the, the juicy side of this, which is the obvious recent chapter that we have to we have to let these folks hear our opinions and, you know, what we thought about that, and what, what could be what we could be lining ourselves up for the next chapter and so on. I finally, finally got fighters on PC, <laughs> finally started doing the mods. Dude, I feel like I spend more time modding than I do play. Oh, yeah. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> now, the one thing, For though, sure. I, I, I will say that definitely uh, kind of sucks about the modding is that I think I already messed something up in my game. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now, it's like a light thing. It's not like a it's not it's, like a major yeah, problem. Depending on what it is, it's easy to fix. Well, OK, well, I haven't I haven't even fixed it yet, but I'm trying to figure it out. I haven't messed with the mods all day today because today I, I, uh, I did two videos I dropped. Um, and the, the, the minor issue is basically just, so you know how like when you're picking your character and then after you pick your team, you pick what assist types they are? Like between A, B, and C? No. You don't know? Okay, so like when you pick your characters and fighters, well actually... Yeah, no, I mean you should know because they they uh they updated they updated that recently. Well, not well, recently, but like I haven't been on recent thing. like recently, but I've been you know like playing. Yeah, so it's it's a step right before you pick your your color. They ask you what assist type you want, like for each of the characters. Hmm. Um, and so that normally will 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 say like a move like whatever the move of the assist is but for me it's like whatever like the the filed 
like oh, computer no. PC name is. It'll be like some gibberish underscore like dot something. I'm like, oh no, like how did I mess this up? Like I didn't even mess with the with the moves or anything like that. Like the only things I've been adding to my games have been like uh what do you call that the the, the uh the like the character outfits um some stages and then like the overall soundtracks that's it like that, that's like like that's like what people you know oh and the, the lobby characters right like mm. that's it but Cosmetics. something yeah something that i added screwed up with something um and i actually did manage to crash the game um once and I think it has something to do with one of the stages that I added. So when I went in and I removed the stages that I added, then I could load up World Tournament. Because World Tournament stage, for some reason, was not working every time I tried to load up. Every time I would load up, then it would give me like some error message and it would close the game. But then so then I removed the stages that I added and then it was working. So I was like, okay, it's one of these stages that's messing this up. I still haven't figured out the whole text thing. But, <laughs> but yeah, dude. I, oh, by the way... I did find that Goku Black freak with the with the shirt. You found it. I found it, and I oh, have it. It's installed. Man. It looks amazing. It I... literally looks amazing. Oh man, I gotta yep. see that. I gotta uh -huh. see that in action. I gotta. Yep. I gotta use that. What am I talking oh, yeah. about? Yeah, bro. I'm telling you, like mod modding is fun. I wish it was. I wish there was a way to do it for like PS4 version. Yeah. Mod I online. Wish. All I want is to see the other costumes. I'm not trying to get no cheat. Just let me get my cosmetics. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, <laughs> like I'm still, I'm still like actually struggling just to freaking unlock Super Saiyan God. Super wow, I said Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, <laughs> Vegeta. And That's Super how you Saiyan know. Blue. That's yeah, how right? you know how long we've been, <laughs> we've been gone, not talking about Dragon Ball. Yeah, you know, yeah. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan is a pretty nice form. Yeah, yeah, but the super saiyan blues the goku and vegeta i'm still trying to unlock because since i didn't obviously buy this pre-ordered that was a pre-order bonus when you initially got the game a few years back and here we are and 2020 they're not gonna give me no damn download code for that which is kind of weird that they didn't but i mean what are you gonna do so right now from what i understand that uh the the way to unlock them is you have to like beat hard mode like yeah you have, you have to you have to literally beat hard mode and i'm just like uh okay like you have to be hard mode for like the two separate arcades oh yeah, yeah yeah you have to well like not even just beat it but you have to get i think an a or above mm. so i'm just like fuck like so in between trying to make sure all my costumes work, which they do, gets hit once, goes down to B. Yeah, exactly. Like I have to play <laughs> flawlessly, almost. Like I just have to find the team that I'm, I'm, I'm like the nicest with. Which right now it's pretty much Kefla and both Brolies. <laughs> You're, s <laughs> I'm, dude. I'm I love done. Kefla. She's <laughs> sick. I, I put a, I put a Goku Black costume on her. That. She looks know, amazing. It, yeah. it looked nice. Uh, yeah, you guys, right? I already talked about my Final Fantasy stuff. Um, I did, after I beat it, I actually haven't gone back to it, which is crazy because I did say that I was going to, but I think that the longer I wait, the higher chance that it's not happening, which I'm like okay with, I guess, because of just the amount of time that I already put into the, like, into playing, like, just to beat the base game. But, you know, now it's, like, the base game plus or whatever. Like, it's hard mode now. So, I don't know. Like, I, I just, I don't want to, like, trap myself into feeling like, oh, I gotta, I gotta do this. Where I have a backlog of games, man. Like, I have, I have to beat the original. So, I, I even started, I started playing that again. I freaking picked up Naruto Storm 4 on the Switch because it had the Boruto update. And I was like man i haven't played this one this game in years let me hit this game up i played the ninjala beta um what like else half of my friends are just lost in animal crossing sauce oh my god let me tell you something man 
That game, <laughs> that series is not for me. The only time you're ever going to catch me playing Animal Crossing are Villager and Isabel in Smash Ultimate. That's it. <laughs> that's that's literally it. Like, I uh, like I know a lot, loads of people that love that game, that play that game, and I just can't get it. I just can't get behind it because it, to me, it's The Sims. It's just The Sims... But with Nintendo. cuter characters. And yeah, it's Nintendo, so... <laughs> Nintendo you know, Sims. It's Nintendo Sims. Like, <laughs> like yo, people people got side hustles out of this game. Now, it's like, okay, like, I respect it. If you, that's your grind, that's your hustle, that's your game, that's all more power to you, but that, that shit ain't for me. Yep. <clears throat> so, other than that... I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's happened between the last episode and now. Uh, I, don't know, not, not, not. I mean, you know, of course, there's a, there's always Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, huh. But you know, there's that Big Bang mm -hmm. Mission. Yeah, there's one. That. Yeah. Um. Oh, Kakarot got a DLC update. They yeah, added Beerus' story. Yeah, they added the, the the Battle that of whole, Gods. Yeah, the Battle of Gods. They added that, but huh, huh, boy, did they add some shit though at the mm. same time. Oh, so you don't know? Perfect. So, so let me let me let me reveal to you guys. Oh God. And Kai, what? I didn't even play. <laughs> what additional shit? And when I say shit, I literally mean additional shit that they added, right? So, being a video game. A lot of fans and people that are not as woke as some are, like us, they don't understand the concept of a video game being a video game. And that certain things within a video game, even if it's adapting the original source material, is not always going to be one-to-one. -one. As a matter of fact, it's not one-to-one -one in the slightest. They added a bunch of things to the game to you know, provide extra, an extra like added experience. So that way, when you played it, it was like, you know, more fun than just literally one-to-one -one reliving all the events of Dragon Ball Z. For the 30th time. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so with this new DLC that they added, um, they added this Battle of Gods, which is like, you know, they, they now give players the ability to play as Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan God Vegeta. So... Of mm -hmm. course, we know that from yeah, we know, we know from the movie, and also from the anime. Um, whichever version you prefer doesn't matter. You know that there was a ritual done for Goku to access this Super Saiyan God power, right? So, Kai, let me ask you a question. In it doesn't actually. You can give me either answer or both if you want to flex. <laughs> Do you remember the participants in the ritual for this Super Saiyan God, yes. John? Okay, please answer. It was Goten, Trunks, Gohan, Vegeta, and Little Baby Pan. Okay. And Little Baby Pan wasn't even born yet. Right. So therefore, it was Videl. Right. Okay. So... In the anime version, you get to see Pan as a Super Saiyan, but they don't acknowledge it. They just pretend like, oh, like, no big deal. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it was just one of those things that Toei decided to fucking do, and, like, they, they probably didn't even understand why they did that shit. I'm just like, okay, guys, like, you don't think this is not going to cause, like, an uproar online? Like, okay. Whatever. So, so yeah, okay. It's so, Dragon Ball. It's naturally uncanny. What can we mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Alright, so, in the game, the game's version, from my memory, is Vegeta, is Gohan, is Goten, mm -hmm. and, I don't like this it, and is Trunks, and is Future Trunks. Okay. Those are your five people for this ceremony wait they used those five people for the ceremony in Kakarot in Kakarot future Trunks was in the ceremony 
Did Future Trunks come back in the motherfucking Battle of Gods? I mean, honestly, at that point, they might as well have just thrown GT Goku in there instead and been like, yeah, there's a kid here. <laughs> like, fuck it. Yo, I saw the picture. When, okay, so how I found out, right, was, uh, of course, Brother Geekdom. What? Shout out to Geekdom, right? Geekdom literally made a video. And I didn't even know. I didn't even see this on Twitter, surprisingly. I watched his video, and his video was explaining, like, the problem with you know like he, he it's a shame that he has to go out of his way to make videos like this to just help with trying to i guess like control the 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 misinformative people out there because to be honest that is how you get people thinking the wrong shit and like if they didn't watch something or if they forgot how it happened and they're gonna be out here being like Future Trunks is part of the reason why they were able to go like Super Saiyan God. Casually and, misinformed. Yeah. And like Geekdom, of course, had to go out of his way and reiterate like this is a video game. Things out of the video game shouldn't matter or they don't matter or they and they don't add to any lore or anything like that and this is not a retcon like people gotta stop thinking like these are retcons like just because it's the most like newest or relevant piece of media that involves the dragon ball z story that is not the case at all 100 percent. like the one thing i will say that people can look at as official just off of the basis that the source material doesn't even have a name for what I'm about to say, the the Soul Punisher, or the yeah. what's the other word for it, the the Stardust Breaker, Stardust right? Breaker. Those two names, by Geekdom's call, right? And I and I and I consider this like a fair call, right? The, those two names are fair game to use for that move that gogeta does why because in every version that we've ever seen gogeta in the manga psych or in the anime <laughs> right he has never verbally said the name of the move he's literally just yep. thrown the shit he's just right? been silent right he's been silent so therefore if you want to call soul punisher you're good if you want to call it stardust breaker you're good it doesn't matter because there's no official name until they until that shit happens whether it be in the manga or whether it be in the anime as soon as long until that day happens then we can all like i guess agree on that is the official name and then whatever you know doesn't you know it, the, the the one that's not announced or denounced as the official name gets booted and it's just it's just a part of the history of the character and that's it and you know what R real quick real quick like side tangent off that talking about stardust breaker talking about gogeta talking about the broly movie just so you can understand how i got to this point i'm i'm getting ay, to right now a um you'd think that with all these super saiyan super saiyan three long ass hair don't care <laughs> you'd think this super saiyan four you'd think the super saiyan god super saiyan god super saiyan like all these rosa everything bro you think that with all this color management that they could finally manage to color gallic gun and final flash properly but no Damn. they can't do that they really can't they really can't <laughs> like, are you kidding me <laughs> it just depends on their mood i think gallic gun is just um like uh nah, one of those dude. like nah nah mood, nah, mood, nah mood lights i'm not with whatever you, no <laughs> i'm not with it gallic gun is like purplish like pinkish i don't know what you want to like yeah no I remember it as being Final purple. Flash is hard yellow, Super Saiyan 2 hair yellow, electricity out your shit yellow, get disintegrated. Uh. Hmm. Final Flash! Yes. 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 Shout out to Ryo. He is a god. I was around <laughs> him. He, he's he's godlike. I heard, I heard that man say Final Flash in person. It was amazing.
Do you like Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super, Dr. Stone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Well, those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14-day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many, many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. So, all right. So the last thing here, I suppose, that's left to talk about, of course, is the thoughts on the this latest This is like chapter. an extra. Pretty much. It's, it's, it's a nice special episode to, to yeah, come back it's, on. It's a, nice, it's a nice little extra to like warm us up, get uh -huh. back in the groove of things. Right. So, chapter 59, Dragon Ball Super Manga. Let's Toyotaro, it. supervised by Toriyama himself. Mm. We got the continuation... The fight, Moro versus Goku. Goku finally whipping out the first part of Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct sign, right? I'm getting that correct. Yeah. Or it's sign or omen. I, I guess. I guess it's like yeah, either is fine until yeah. they're like very very clear because they've listed it as both ways at this point now. All right, in both the anime and the manga. That's true. Yeah. So. So he's in his sign version right now. The both of us have literally agreed. And wondered, I guess is the better way to say it, how is Ultra Instinct going to be any different from any of the previous forms or power-ups or Zenkai boost, however you want to word it, how is it going to be any different, right? When fighting a guy that literally eats life energy. Right. And, you know, we, we do see a couple exchanging blows and... You know, they're going at it, some they're clashes. back and forth. Yeah, some clashes. Some trash talk, you know, the good old stuff. Mm-hmm, but at the end of the day, what happens? Uh, Goku freaking... doesn't listen to his superior? <laughs> well, not even... Not, I mean, go, you can't even say that yet, because... Oh, yes, you can. Why is that? When does Goku ever listen to the rules that his trainer sets? Name one time. And I'm not talking about on some Master Roshi, go get me some, you know, supplies type shit. I'm talking ah, about like supplies. I'm talking about I'm talking about like that. Hey Goku, don't go over Kaioken times three. Kaioken times twenty. Oh damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> How do you forget that's about that? That's a long. No, you're right though. That's a long time. But that's what I'm saying. Then like even at the end of here, like he's done it plenty of times with plenty of trainers, and at the end he's like, yeah, sorry, Miris, but uh, that's not my style. I'm gonna do what I want. Mm -hmm. So here we go again, classic Goku. <laughs> oh shit, here we go. Oh again. shit, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Goku, man. <laughs> well, listen, Goku's out here. He's trying. He's he's trying to hold his own right now in this in this Ultra Instinct state. But... I'm waiting for that panel, that one yes. panel that we talked about long ago. I Seems need like, it. Yeah. I, I, dude. I'm, it's lining up quite uh, yeah, nicely. It is. <laughs> I I have to admit that I it's, predict that the next chapter that will be the the last page. That will be the last page, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like they because if they you think could about really it, do that. They could do it with the clothes and everything, bro. It'll be the last page. It'll be nice and oh oh man. Yeah, like like and we and it's funny because we did actually see vegeta in the in this chapter mm -hmm. they they show him for like a he page. noticed he can sense key at the instant transmission range funny he knew, he knew that goku was battling mirrors uh -huh. or oh my gosh excuse me uh moro moro right yeah dude it's like it just makes you wonder like dude vegeta's taking his time he's making sure that he finesses whatever he's trying to learn and it is still um it is still one of the things that's being said or if you're if you know obviously if you're woke or whatever that you know that the 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 key to this victory has to be with vegeta because he he literally knows he's learning a technique that is going to be introduced to the sh to the whole lore of dragon ball as a brand new thing we have never seen this before. We have no idea what it is, but whatever it is, it's is apparently supposed to, you know. Yo, I just I just thought of something. 
I just thought of something. I did too, so you go first. What if this technique that he's going to learn is literally what Moro already knows how to do? What if he's just there to absorb what he absorbs? I mean, when you think about it, Vegeta is really good at controlling and, you know, releasing his energy in an explosion. So if he can just figure out how to just absorb it and do literally the opposite. Right. Like, that would be the ultimate trump card. It would be like, like, we, we, uh, this whole time we've been thinking like Moro is the reverse spirit bomb. But what if Vegeta Moro's actually the is. Spirit bomb. Huh? <laughs> Moro is the reverse spirit bomb. That's funny. Yeah. I haven't like, heard that yet. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, Spirit Bomb, you use you, you use the energy for, of people that allow it. You know, they, they're the ones that are giving it to you. It's like, it's like you know, it's optional. It's like you're taking a quiz or a survey. And it's like, oh, it's like you, you have the option to fill in this question at the end. Like, you choose to opt out or opt in or whatever. And uh, everyone, you know, raises their hands because that's, that, that's how Spirit Bomb. So instead is, of a Spirit Bomb, best. it would be a Reaper's Bomb. So, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess so, because... I mean, it, it, it takes it to the point of killing them. Yeah, and plus it's forceful, like, yeah. Moro is against your will taking your, your life yeah. energy. So, maybe the technique that Vegeta is learning is, is, is exactly what Moro is doing. Like, what if Vegeta just tries to do it against him in, in, in such a way that, like... Because then, obviously, the argument is, well, then Moro will just take it back. Well, exactly. Like, what if what if it's more complex than that? Like, there's something else to it that, you know, that we won't know until it happens. Or it's just the fact that Vegeta waits until he tries to unleash some kind of big-ass attack that utilizes a lot of that stored energy that he has, that life energy that he's, that he's already absorbed, and then, boom, so. Vegeta takes that in. So what were you thinking? So I just thought of something that was just kind of like, you know, a typical, typical um, trademark, full power, out of control. Here I go. But um, what if he gets some, um, on some, on some Tai Lee type shit? Like, you know, they they mentioned about instant transmission, everything. When I say they, I mean the Yard Rats. Um, they mentioned how everything's about like heat control. They don't have any special magic or crazy voodoo like Vegeta thought they did. It's just all about heat control. What if he really finds a way to hit Moro or like, you know, do something in such a way with mixing his own energy to make Moro and disable his ability to control his own energy? Yo, that would be fire. So Vegeta literally pulls up, like hits him and, you know, like hits him on some... I mean, it, it could it could be anything, you know what I mean? Like this is it could is it could be anything. It could be anything. It could, he could like open his eyes wider and like clap Moro. <laughs> like it could be it, it could be anything. But I just mean like finding a way to like disable his ability to control his own power, and like just like shut it off. Like literally, I just flipped the switch. Ooh, flip, flip. <laughs> hey, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I like that. I, I, can, I can rock with that. The only thing that I'm just... stealing energy from Earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I'm really concerned, though, is that... Like, that's... I would like that idea. I just, I just hope that however way they decide to incorporate this, I just hope that... Give me my panel they get well not only just the panel that the panel is going to happen but i just hope that vegeta ha gets something flashy and it's epic and whatever this new shit is and that he actually deals the final blow and he is the savior i don't want it to be where vegeta is just the super duper support type and learns the shit that just goku doesn't know so for just for to allow goku to do it you know what i'm saying like i'm sick of this and honest i will tell you this right now kai whatever it is that they are Writing up Toyotaro and Toriyama supervision, okay? This shit, they better not fuck this up because I have all good <laughs> faith. I have good faith in them. Mm. But let me tell you something. This is how you take something that is super good and then all together shit on it at the end because i've seen and they've this happen, done that before and i've seen this happen out in, in other animes okay 
I'm not trying to see a megalobox situation happen with this shit, okay? I absolutely don't. I don't, like, because from the beginning of this arc, everyone was really getting absorbed by it and being like yo this actually might this is lining up to be like the best arc the manga has seen yet and it's been the favorite of a lot of people geekdom has said millions of times like he, like that this, this is the best arc so far in dragon ball super and 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 it really is like it, it has it has enough of a backbone to 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 really exemplify that and for them to give us a a sour ending is is what will make or break this fucking thing because they, i don't want to i don't want a subtle shit i don't want a fizzled i don't want a no carbonation i want a big bang ending you feel me <laughs> I, I i want vegeta to be the guy he has to be i want him to be the reason behind the moro's defeat i don't want him to just be some kind of support shit i don't want that i don't look i don't even care if like if 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 go if he asks goku to help him out to do some shit i just don't want goku to 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 be the anticlimactic okay vegeta let me steal this kill from you like i always do and that's how it ends i don't want to repeat a fucking frieza i don't he sh- Vegeta should have got that, and now more than ever he needs See, this. For me, like the next chapter, I don't even want it to happen. Next chapter, like we can prolong this battle a little bit because we've been waiting for this battle. I really like to see how this turns out. You know what I mean? And I don't want it to be Vegeta shows up and we haven't seen Master Ultra Instinct because you know what that means? We're gonna. Or else there's going to be that question forever and ever, that debate, like, oh, yeah, well, if Goku would have pulled it off, I'm sure he would have beat Moro. Fuck out of here. If it doesn't Doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Exactly. But it has to. It absolutely has to. So that's why, like, I'd be upset if Vegeta showed up before that that form got triggered. If the form doesn't trigger, that's that's just some shit. Because I feel like I feel like for it to be like really successful, they have to put that in there. You know what I mean? Mm. He even has complete control of the half assed version. So it doesn't make sense not to. But I'm going to be reading every single page. And every single page, I don't see Vegeta's face. So I'm going to get more and more excited because that means they they working man's up. Yo, all right. But you know like, what? I could get behind that. Like, right? Because like, well, if he, if they keep something, like, you know they like to, people, people's ability, writers, I should say, writers' ability, one of their greatest ability is misdirection. Mm-hmm. Right. Letting yeah. you get enveloped in the fight of Moro versus Mastered Ultra Instinct. Who's Vegeta? Mad people are gonna be fixated on Goku. Mm-hmm. Nobody's gonna see that shit coming. Even if they thought that like, oh, maybe even the people that thought like Goku's gonna lose. Did you see what Vegeta has cooking on Planet Yardrat? I bet you don't. Because you know what? Yeah. Something that always made me wonder about Dragon Ball is like they always scale things based off of power, right? They always scale uh-huh. things based off of this former, that former, this power level, that power level. But, and this works with the Namekians too, but just to keep it real simple, I'm going to talk about the Yardrats because when you think about it, they're weak in retrospect to like gods and Saiyan gods and all that, right? right they're right. weak. They just got some pretty cool, unique techniques that, you know, depending on how much energy you have, you could turn them into some really useful tactics. Hmm. And here's what pisses me off. And I guess I shouldn't say piss me off, but like, it's just one of the things that Dragon Ball doesn't quite, it doesn't quite cover in a nice little like packaged area because like so many unexplained, unexplained things between power levels and people's strengths and all this, right? How can a yard rat, right? How can a yard rat completely restore the energy of Vegeta who is panting on the ground from exhaustion process how much energy he must have used to be on the ground panting That's especially true. considering his pride how can a yard rat literally put his hand behind Vegeta's back and go whoop here you go you're healed he's like wait what you healed me yeah I healed you if you're weak and you're able to heal him to the degree of back being 100% to continue your intense training right at that moment, like it's nobody's business. You're gonna tell me Vegeta's not gonna be able to find some type of reverse psychology in that. Uh, 
Yo, I mean, look, man. I, what I just heard you say is al- is also concerning. Is also concerning. is also concerning because listen, if Vegeta comes out with some healer type shit, I literally hope that that does not limit him in getting this triumphant like come up moment that he rightfully deserves i really hope that his role is not just to support goku i i that's really, not what i'm saying though i know i know i'm just saying i'm just saying like that's just a concern of mine that's all yeah that's definitely that's that's the biggest concern of this arc yeah. period we need, we need vegeta to literally take the w like with his own hands I, dude, I don't even want fusion to happen, bro. I, I don't even want fusion to happen. I I, I, don't, I would. I don't think fusion's gonna happen. The only way I want Broly to be in this in this arc is if. No, did... <laughs> no, nah, nah, listen, 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 listen. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking of things that I, I, I really, I would Full power, rather. Out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I'm just thinking of things that I would actually sacrifice from my own, from my own bias wish list of things that I would like to see, like the inner child in me, right? And I'm telling you right now. Fusion, don't want it to happen. Broly <gasps> coming in, Yo. don't want it to happen. I will sacrifice all those things. I would even no, sacrifice. No, no, no. I would even sacrifice seeing Master Ultra Instinct. I literally want Vegeta to just to come up, show us the new ability, whip Moro's ass, and get the W. I and don't. That's it. I don't agree with not seeing Master Ultra Instinct. Do you know why? Why? Literally because of the community, because of the people. Nah, fuck that. Nah, the because, community can sit the fuck down and chill out. Because, but like, honestly, <clears throat> like, I'm, like, I I put myself in that, in that category-ish. Like, not, not like bitching about shit, but like, this is Dragon Ball. This is the most intense fight. This is the best chapter of the super mangas, th- like, thus far, because nothing's been fucked up yet. <laughs> Knock on everything. Because... Right. If we don't see that Master Ultra Instinct form, there's really going to be questions for eternity if Moro gets beat. Dude, but that's the thing. Like, okay, like, there's gonna, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions. There's going to be a lot of discussions to have, and that's fine. That's more a content lot of for debate. us. Yeah, I, I don't care. Like, look, man, I, I, like, so here's the thing, right? Like, I'm sure one of the first things people are going to say is like, oh, but if we don't see Master Ultra Instinct yep. against Moro, then what does that mean for how when he used it against Jiren like is that not the same kind of concept like the whole like like all the universe is about to yeah yeah (laughs) yeah, like is it is it is it that is it not that serious like why hasn't he unleashed it now and that's the thing I don't want it to get to that point I want Vegeta to come up clean house so that way we go another arc without seeing ultra instinct master version because like i keep saying i really hope that toei that toyotaro that toriyama that they really don't have any plans for new forms out like a beyond master ultra instinct i would rather them focus on letting other characters like maybe not get all the way up to that level but close you know like it would be nice to I mean, one if day. anyone, then Broly. It, like, yeah. They, they low-key declared him a Z fighter at this point. Yes, Broly is the number one contender for that shit. And that's but, that that that's a hundred percent. Like Right, so going going off what I said before with Vegeta getting this whole like thing, whatever his thing is that's supposed to like beat Moro, we hope, right? Mm-hmm. Whatever it's supposed to be. I think it would be very interesting to see some type of like some type of like key restriction on somebody so like Moro can't do what he wants or like he even weakens Moro's state so much to where you know like a simple beat down would be wild because you when you think about it like it's Moro's magic that makes him busted yeah. yeah so if Vegeta can find a way to disable the magic because he reversed things that he learned and you know just like flip that shit flip the script you know flip, flip. everything everything could be a lot easier in that sense and when you think about looking into the future past the moral arc if vegeta is able to do that there's a full power out of control if vegeta is able to do all that wouldn't that line up for broly's training quite nicely hell yeah 100 <laughs> percent. fuck yeah 
you kidding me? Let's go. But like, the, well, side side note though, as as, as far as Broly is concerned, because I, I want to throw this in there, the only the only the only logical way that I would I, I would actually want Broly to even be featured in this is as a cameo, and not even about in this, not even on Earth or anything. Literally, it's just him on Vampa, and he fucking feels it all happening and that's it like whatever the whatever the scale of power it. is oh, yeah man. like he's just that'd doing be really whatever. cool no 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 exactly. that'd be really cool dude i'm telling you because you you think vampa seems very far from wherever the hell earth is in universe 7 and for him like they're just chilling whatever drinking that freaking spider juice or whatever the fuck it is right although and, and like you know maybe he maybe maybe he reconciled with ba right so maybe maybe his homies with ba again right and he's with chilai and limo and all you see is the panel is just that they're just chilling and then Rolly just looks up at looks up at the at the at the sky and he just goes Kakarot. like oh ah! like, yo that'd be fire <laughs> that'd be fire son get give me that and that's okay that's all i need that's that because that, that's how you set up the next part you're right, but I was gonna say, didn't they already low-key have like a cameo? Didn't, uh, I don't remember, I mean, we talk about like so much shit and we are out of control sometimes, so I don't remember if this is like actual, this happened or not, but like, in the manga, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't that shit happen? Didn't they like, Moro was looking for energies, uh, to en for energy to absorb from planets and then like, they just kind of like, ditched Vampa because there was just like, two people there, whatever, he was like, nah. Nah, I, yo, if, so if that happened, I would have remembered that. It's not. It's not like they mentioned it directly, but I could have sworn we were talking. We were talking about something, whether it was real or not. That's why I say excuse me. But we, I remember we were talking about something like Moro breezing over, like looking for planets or whatever, and then just like not going to that one because there weren't life forms. You know, like if Broly's not out of control, there's nothing. There's nothing to fear because scouters are misleading as hell. Yeah. So I think it, that what you're saying right now is just a thought that we probably discussed, but. There was a two-page little yeah, mini Yeah, I section. remember a thing that said that that story is for another time. Yeah, like I I'm I am pretty sure it was it the, that little like that was it it was it was like a I bonus that. inclusion that yes. mentions Broly and yeah, like yeah, yeah. the and the happenings of that movie. Like that's it. That's all. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was they were on the spaceship talking yep. about stuff and like yeah that's when that that took place so but yeah no nothing nothing direct right, about vampa which is totally okay but yeah like that's that's my little Carry side on. note thing but um what the hell did i want to say before to the shit that you were actually talking about oh yeah yeah, yeah. so with vegeta i'm thinking with all this discussion now i'm i'm, I'm honestly on the fence but I'm kind of leaning more towards like whatever this special ability is that he's learning. I think it might have something directly to do with obviously control or life, like energy overall, and the ability to be able to to um, disable and enable like himself or others from like absorbing or being like extracted from. I think that's the key here because that's been the whole narrative of the story in this fight is that they can't get to him fully because one way or another he ends up absorbing their life energy and which in, in, in turn makes them weaker and whatnot but if vegeta develops a skill that essentially disables himself from being absorbed from his life energy being absorbed then right there there's the trump card and then even further, if he can disable it altogether from Moro directly, then that means that he can't take it from nobody else either. Word. That's just a thought. But with all that said, that's based that's that's like everything right there. That's that's our thoughts. That's what we think is going to happen within the next few chapters. I'm like I said, I'm predicting that the last page of next chapter, if vegeta is coming because remember they can they fit a lot in one chapter since it's like around 40 42 pages being a monthly manga series so like you have to think a lot of this the the, the, the fight that happened just now between goku and moro was that, that that shit lasted the entire chapter for uh, 59 so 
it, like I could I could take a guess at Gander that chapter 60 we might see a little bit more fighting and a lot more beatdown on Goku's end. And then we hear the the bells. Ding, the bells. Ding. Ding 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 the freaking Vegeta theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Hear them bells. He comes in when, and then we get the panel, and then chapter six is done. I don't, I don't want the panel next chapter. I want it in two chapters, maybe even a third. I want to see what's good with this fight. All right, maybe not a third. I just don't want a next chapter. I, like, g- give me one more of like a solid fight. Either way, when it happens, it's gonna be fire. Either way, when it happens, it's gonna be the last thing we see until it says x month 20th date <laughs> in the next chapter it's gonna be the last thing we see for sure well hopefully that gonna come in hot yeah ho- hopefully the uh the schedule for the for the manga stays as a monthly and it doesn't get delayed or anything like that like and you know for the anime they're gonna be they're gonna be mad extra with it we're gonna see it from goku's eyes he's gonna be like open his eyes that shit gonna come into view uh, vegeta <laughs> 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 oh man it's so exciting but that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of the full power podcast as always make sure to leave a comment of your thoughts what you guys have been doing during this quarantine if you guys can relate to any of our stories that we shared from earlier in this episode and uh any other topics that you might want us to talk about in a future episode um i believe we should be back on schedule for weekly releases as far as the full power podcast is concerned so let let us let us have your um ideas or anything that you you guys might want us to bring up um as far as you know the next um episode or whatever and i know that this is actually the time where we would acknowledge some of those comments from the last episode but i'm actually gonna leave that for next episode we could probably start with whatever was left from the episode 14 for episode 16 so that way we'll get 14 and 15's comments on uh episode 16 when that drops um you know later this month so thanks again guys thank you kai of course for uh co-hosting this john with me i was literally not about to do this shit without you because like having a conversation <laughs> with you yourself is, love. yeah dude. because at that point i'm just I, you know, like i do my videos already so it's like it's 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 different when you do when you have you know you have the podcast version so there's that um it's just at the point for us where we like we have to record our phone calls because nothing we talk about <laughs> is safe yeah, anymore dude. like it, it's we, really like guys that. we actually limit ourselves from <laughs> we like, can't be friends anymore yeah, guys like <laughs> we, we we can't do regular things like something happens and we can immediately talk about it nope like, can't do that no more the, the, we have to save like, it unspoken rule of silence like we literally like we'll just we'll we'll mention something like one of us will mention something like and as soon as it becomes dragon ball related and the topic starts to become any form of interesting <laughs> the other person just goes stop yep because we, yep. we have to because we have to wait for the next episode yep. we'll really ruin the whole thing like we can't talk anymore yeah <laughs> no, that's that's literally how it, how it goes it's so funny though yeah, but any uh anything you want to shout out before I close this thing out? Uh, no, nah, I mean shout outs to everyone and their families. Hope everyone's doing okay. Facts. Definitely stay safe. You know, stay home. Yeah, All that please. good stuff. Stay clean. Stay these fresh. Some, stay these inside. Are some freak times. But yeah, get some you know get some productivity going in your day. You know, whether whatever type of productivity you got going on, do something. Do something that oh, do something that'll help your future. Do something that'll help your soul. Anything. You got some time now. No excuses. Yep, no excuses. No excuses, guys. But with that said, guys, make sure as always you're liking the video if you're you know obviously hearing the, the YouTube version, um, and uh, you know leave a comment, all that stuff. The supporting links are always always gonna be in the description below. And please, guys, like Kai said, please take care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on the Uchi Games channel. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Stay clean, stay healthy, stay positive, stay productive, and stay the fuck inside. It's been your boy, Uchi. Cue my Suzumi. Right. (laughs) (laughs) It's your boy, Kai. And we'll see y'all next time.